Welcome to Electron Online. Once in a while you get a problem that appears not to be able to be used with Le Hospital's rule. Case in point, taking the limit as x approaches 0 from above, because we have the natural log of x there and we don't have a, a defined number when we're plugging a negative number in for x, so we have to come in from the positive side. We have the square root of x times the natural log of x, and it's not even a fraction. Let's go ahead and plug in some numbers and see what we get. This becomes equal to the square root of x, when we plug in 0, we get the square root of 0 times the natural log of 0. This becomes 0 times a negative infinity. So we don't get a 0 divided by 0 or an infinity over infinity situation. It does appear as if Le Hospital's rule cannot be used here. What we can do instead is try to write in a form where Le Hospital's rule can be used. But in other words, we can move the square root of x to the denominator when we write it like this. The limit as x approaches 0 from above of the natural log of x divided by 1 divided by the square root of x. Now we have it in a form where we can use Le Hospital's rule. Let's plug in the 0 and see what we get. This gives us the natural log of 0 divided by 1 divided by the square root of 0. The numerator is equal to negative infinity. Let me write that infinity sign a little bit better. There we go. Divided by 1 over 0. And 1 divided by 0 is infinity. This becomes negative infinity divided by infinity. And that is the proper form. Well, it's an indeterminate form, but it makes it a proper form to use Le Hospital's rule on. Let us now apply Le Hospital's rule on this. But to do that, I'm going to rewrite the denominator just slightly. Let's take this as the limit, as x approaches 0 from above, of the natural log of x divided by, this would be 1 over the square root of x, or x to the minus 1 half when we bring it to the numerator in the denominator. So we bring this up here, and that becomes a negative exponent 1 half. Now let's take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. This is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from above of 1 over x divided by, and this would be 1 half times x to the minus 3 halves power. Simplifying that, oh, I need a minus 1 half because I bring the exponent down here, so it's a minus 1 half. Now simplifying that, we can move the 2 up here. This can be written as the limit as x approaches 0 from above. This can now be written as x to the 3 halves in the numerator divided by x and divide by 1 half the same as multiplying times 2 but there's a negative there so minus 2. Now let's go ahead and plug in Oh, not yet, not quite yet. Now we divide the x into here. This becomes the limit as x approaches 0 from above of minus 2x to the 1 half because I divided the x into the numerator, I get x to the 1 half. Now we can apply the limit when x goes to 0. This becomes minus 2 times 0 to 1 half, which is equal to 0. And that is the limit of this particular function. Notice we had to go through some steps to get there. We did realize that at first it did not appear, so we can use Le Hospital's rule. We can rewrite the function like this, where now we can see that we do get the proper format. And finally, we then go ahead and take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator, work it out, simplify it into a form that we can plug in the limit. And that's how we use different kind of tricks to come up with a solution by using the Hospital's rule. That's how it's done.